so here we are in adobe after effect let's create a new composition we are going to call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is uh, let's do one thing we will make it 10 second duration and background color i'm going to choose white color simply hit ok and hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title save action then press ctrl n and let's call this composition as box and over here we are going to do divided by three similarly over here slash divided by three so we are getting this kind of box and simply hit ok now over here we will start to do our animation so press ctrl y to create one solid background and we are going to choose black color and simply hit ok and hit ok like this and let's lock this layer now i'm going to select my ellipse tool and uh, by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select this press s for scaling option and let's scale it a little bit like this now select this press p for position create one keyframe zoom in a little bit let's go to around 20 frames create one keyframe go to the start or let's go to one second and move this over here now go to the start initially let's make this over here like this select those keyframes and hit f9 go over here select this press s create one keyframe go to two second and let's increase the scale until it's going to cover the entire composition select this keyframe and hit f9 okay so we will get this animation and then this animation now after that i'm going to select my ellipse tool again or instead of that simply select this and hit ctrl d hit u and let's go somewhere around over here like this now okay and change the color of this one to black okay and simply move this up to two seconds so we'll get this over here now this time uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this position keyframe and instead of from this side i want this should come from the upper end like this okay so it's going to come from here and then this similarly select this hit ctrl d let's go to around four second and move this over here hit u and go to the start and change the color of this one to white okay and now delete this uh, initial position keyframe and this time i want this should come from this side okay so you will get this and then this similarly select this hit ctrl d and simply move this up to six second hit u and this time again we will select this and change the color of this one to black and delete this position keyframe and this time this one should come from the bottom like this okay and now at this point uh, if i hit n over here because my animation is ending over here i'll get all of this stuff in the form of loop so if you see this after this this is going to be in the form of loop like this okay now what we are going to do over here let's hit u for all of them and uh, uh, between this scale keyframes i'm going to select this and move this over here with the help of open square bracket similar thing i'll follow over here select this and move this over here similar thing i'll follow over there select this and move this over here like this let's see how does it looks yeah and at this point which is around 6.15 i'm going to select this right click and trim comp to work area so what will happen i'll get this animation in the form of loop now i'm going to select all the keyframes similarly this by holding shift make sure to hit f9 go to the graph editor simply select this graph and move one handle of this over here and move one handle of this over here like this so we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop now go to the box 
and select this and move this box over here now make sure to move your pointer over here because this is going to be your looping point and hit n over here okay now after that select this and hold press ctrl alt t to open the time remapping scale and so as you guys can see we have one keyframe at start and one keyframe at end and now we will create one keyframe before the last one and we will delete this last one like this hold alt on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it okay so what will happen if i increase this i'll and if i increase this i'll get this animation continuously in the form of loop okay like this now what i'm going to do i'll hit ctrl k to open the project settings and i'll increase the duration of this to 30 zoom out a little bit and let's increase the size of this okay but final uh, uh, time over here is at this point because if you go inside this at this point which is around 16.15 frames or something my animation is in the form of loop so uh, we will end uh, our uh, time over here only okay and now all we need to do is we need to just adjust them according to our composition so select this go to the align tab align it left then align it top select this hit ctrl d and by holding ctrl you can simply snap it or instead of that make sure to enable this snapping option select this hit ctrl d simply move this over here similarly select this hit ctrl d uh, try to move this over here hit ctrl d hit ctrl d so i'm going to adjust it like this because of your snapping option is on you can get it like this okay so now if you see this you will get this kind of animation and now what we can do over here we can take a distance of one one second as well or you can take a distance of 20 frames as well so with the help of 20 frame distance with the help of open square bracket I am going to move them over here like this like this like this and like this and select all of them and let's try to move them over here so if I see this stuff I'll get this kind of animation inside of after effects and that is also going to be in the form of loop okay so let's make this full resolution and this is the kind of abstract uh, looping animation you can do then another thing you can do you can select all of them press ctrl shift c and you can call it as loop ping animation and hit ok now if this is uh, just another uh, additional stuff if you want to do you can do that you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for sphere effect cc sphere and you can double click to apply and you can increase the radius if you want so you will get this kind of stuff you can go to the shading increase the ambient or let's reduce the diffuse and increase the ambient value i'm going to reduce the diffuse like this okay as you guys can see and then uh, you can go inside the rotation option also and you can create multiple uh, rotation also but it looks quite weird so i think we need to skip this procedure this is just an extra one so you can do this or you can go to the box option also like this um, and uh, you can go over here you can select your rectangle tool and over here i'm going to delete this fill i don't need that and on the stroke i'm going to choose white color and simply double click on it like this and go to the stroke width and let's choose 20 okay and whenever white colors over here go to the drop shadow effect go to the effect and presets and add drop shadow and increase the softness like this okay so you will get something like this and if you want uh, you can in decrease the stroke width as well so you will get something like this okay so this is also you can do or uh, you what you can do uh, let's say for example if i increase the stroke width up to 20 
then select this hit ctrl D and this time let's choose alpha mask over here and or let's say alpha inverted mask for example select this and let's decrease the stroke a little bit like this so now if you see we are gonna get this kind of pattern okay so this is also you can do it's totally up to you so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects like that and you can go to the drop shadow over here here uh, i mean in the box composition as you guys can see now this is a white one on the black one so you can apply drop shadow effect over here and instead of a, a shadow color black you can choose white and increase the softness of this and also increase the distance to 100 or let's say 50 i think let's choose 10 only or let's say 20 okay and change the opacity to 30 and select this drop shadow hit ctrl c to copy select this uh, black one hit ctrl v and change the color of this one to black similarly select this hit ctrl v drop shadow select this hit ctrl v and change the color of this one to black okay so uh, what will happen we will get a little bit of depth in our animation like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects and just because if you want to add some little bit more amount in this uh, you can right click new and create one adjustment layer you can go to the effect and presets panel apply tint effect on it and simply swap this color and then you can go and uh, select your ellipse tool select any color if you want select one ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and choose this uh, adjustment layer and choose alpha mask select the scale let's make this zero create one keyframe go to around somewhere over here and let's uh, increase this size to so it will cover the entire adjustment layer like this you will get something like this go over here select these two layers hit ctrl d and simply move them over here hit u like this and make sure this should be over here only like this so you will get this stuff in the form of loop as you guys can see we are getting this animation in the form of loop the way we want so this is how you can create this kind of creative looping animation inside of After Effects.